Hi there, and welcome to number one geek, it is me, Saz, and I'm here with a new game, Deep Six. So we're going to see what it's like, and I'm going to play for it completely blind, as I generally tend to do. And uh, I'm not going to do a live stream this time, I'm just going to do it straight from the from the bat, and then we'll see where we go. So, uh, looking forward to this game, it's um, basically you are a prisoner, stuck on a ship because you did something wrong. And you're pretty much in your solitary confinement. So, uh, right. Okay, let's go to easy mode first. Simply because I want to learn the game rather than to worry about the. Oh. Involuntary employee is 658 and a 4. Guilty verdicts. One charge, criminal negligence. Sentence. Involuntary service contract with Astro Interstellar contract at last I had a undisclosed job months. All this, and I was good at it. Or <laughs> I thought I was. I was an AI operations monitor, basically a babysitter. My job was to make sure all the robots and the programs humanity depends on don't screw up and hurt anybody. The job wasn't particularly taxing. Protocol one, keep an eye on the AIs. Protocol two, make sure they're not doing anything weird. Protocol 3, shut them down if they start doing something weird. What I didn't figure out was Protocol 4. Don't get complacent, no matter how easy the job is. They say the total cost of my negligence was several billion credits, and a Mars colony was temporarily deprived of some good kosher cheese dip. After the guilty verdict, a company called Astra Interstellar Solutions wasted no time buying my corrections contract. Now, all I want is to finish my time, get home, and start over. Hello, involuntary employee number 6584. Welcome to your home away from home. I am the artificial intelligence unit assigned to your surveying vessel that is currently bear. docked in the hangar. I am known as the Universal Remote Sentient Avatar, or URSA. That's a painfully shoehorned acronym. Looking around, you'll notice that no expense has been spared for your comfort and security during your indefinite stay with Astra. Enjoy the <laughs> sights and sounds of deep space from your furnished cell. If there are ever more sounds than there are sights, something is very wrong, and you should relay an emergency signal immediately. If there are no sounds, the station may be decompressed, and you should relay an emergency signal immediately. If the emergency signal system is down, you should relay an emergency signal immediately. <laughs> you no doubt can't wait to get started making a name for yourself within the Astra Interstellar Solutions family. Before you begin, you may want to check your messages. Before we can start our first mission, we should check the computer, get our mission objectives and messages. Okay. So, middle click or press space to identify hotspots. Ah, ah okay. Go to bed, computer, window. So, take a look at the computer. Use this computer to read and answer messages, get new missions, repair your ship, order new parts, and store ship upgrades. Oh, okay. Hi, friend. Hello employee 6584, I am the artificial intelligence unit assigned to your spacecraft and I'm looking forward to meeting you. Not spelt I'm right though, not a very good artificial intelligence are you if you can't do your apostrophes, god damn it. My job is to perform trillions of calculations and obviously not to spell check, to determine the quantum state of the atoms of the spaceship, so we don't <coughs> end up all scrambled when we fold space. Thank you for giving me safe, goodbye for now AI. Hello, your manual has been updated to technical information about the safe operation of Series 6 Deep Space Vessel. We highly recommend reviewing the manual before departing the space station. Please do not reply to this email. Don't reply to the email, just to... Okay, just, just more fluff, really. Always read your mission's instructions carefully. Most of the time you can choose between two or more missions, but sometimes Astra assigns you a mission that you can't decline. Okay. Astro Interstellar Solutions uses long range communication voice to send and receive telemetry from surveying and mining craft in the field. These buoys are critical to maintaining our operations and oversight in the nebula. A micrometeor appears to have severely crippled one such buoy and sent it on a wayward course. The commercial information contained within such a buoy should be damaging if it was recovered by one of our competitors. 
Warp to the last known site of the void and use your deep space scanner to locate where it drifted to. Recovery would be cost prohibitive, so when you find it, we'd like you to use the S6 DSVs. Oh, they've got an apostrophe there. So it must just be the AI that just can't do it. To, uh, to destroy it. Objectives, locate defective comms boy. Destroy a defective comms boy. Okay. Uh, so... Wee! Bug destination. This is trying to think about other things you miss. Okay. Uh, this is an overview of the nebula. Your first mission is to find a destroyed communications boy. Astro is giving you the start coordinates, so just click on the sector that is marked with an exclamation mark and the activation tab drives to start your mission. So, there. Okay, wow. I never thought I'd experience a hyperdrive in my life, and now I never want to again. Astra Interstellar Solutions prides itself on the construction of all of its vessels. However, in the extremely unlikely event of a catastrophic systems failure, I am obligated to remind you that any problem can be solved by troubleshooting it in your field manual. That's literally the least comforting set of words I have ever heard strung together before. Okay, let's start scanning for that missing boy. Let's power up our deep space scanner and get this over with. If you notice the power allocation panel to the left, we are currently allocating three units of power to the scanner. Increase this to five to speed up the rate of scanning. Okay. With the power allocation panel, you can distribute the draft battery power between various ship systems. It lasers in each of the five viewing rooms. The scanner, the hyperdrive, and the target unit system. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to five. Attention, pilot. The ship scanner is experiencing a malfunction. Seriously? Maintaining optimism <laughs> is essential for mission success. <laughs> Let's go to the deep space scanner room and see what the problem is. It's fixed the scanner before we get to our mission. Go <laughs> open the map and go to the scanner room. So the map's down here. Take Excellent. It. From your map, you can see that the ship has eight rooms. There are five viewing rooms located in the outer ring. From here, you can observe activity out the windows and conduct your mission duties. In the central shaft, there are three rooms of note. The room that contains the deep space scanner, the room that contains the ship's hyperdrive, and the room that contains the power reactor that keeps the ship operational. Okay, so we're gonna get to the scanner. This room houses the deep space scanner. From here, you can assess what awaits you in nearby sectors and make any necessary repairs to the ship's battery. If you look to the right of the monitor, you will see the server where my consciousness is stored. Hold on, are you actually conscious? I just assumed you were an interactive script. Of course not. I am not an interactive script. Squirrel trumpet stuffing bowel interactive script. Of course not. I am not a squirrel, trumpet, stuffing, vowel, interactive script. Yep. Open the manual to learn how to fix the scanner. So the manual's here. Okay. So, the top four entries in the manual will explain everything the ship's various rooms in greater detail. There's also a general troubleshooting section that provides step by step instructions for every possible failure. Open the troubleshooting section for the scanner room section to find out more. Right, troubleshooting. Uh, from this page, you can access repair instructions for all kinds of system failures. Check on the scanner failure button. Uh, scanner failure. Uh, there we have a step by step instructions on how to repair the scanner. Take your time and read everything carefully. Here's the first thing we have to do is check the scanning computer for any error messages. When you're ready, close the manual and check the scanning room computer. So, check if the scan process has been interrupted due to software error. Okay. Press escape to get out, yeah. So there's the scanning computer. Scanner isn't working and displays error code 106. Let's open the manual to find out what this code means. Okay. Error code 106 may have a hardware problem. Close the manual so we have checked the scanner. So let me check this. Terminal motherboard failure. Open the scanning card where carefully remove the malfunction universal controller board and replace it with an identical part. Okay. Let's 
scanning hardware, isn't it? Because the older universe is burnt out, we'll have to find a replacement. Okay. Where can we find a replacement from? Search the lockers and join every room to find a replacement controller board. That's fun. Most rooms have a drawer or locker where it's important items can be found. Let's check this room's locker. Check the lockers in the other rooms. Okay, let's go to the hyperdrive. Attention, hyper pilot. This is where the hyperdrive and ship's life support systems are located. Your survival has been deemed a medium level priority, and therefore the continued operation of these systems are considered to be desirable. It is the universe control board we use to fix the scanner. Drag it to your inventory. Okay. Place your control board from your inventory to fix the scanner. Go. There you go. Now let's check if the scanner is working again. Okay, so press escape, go to the scanning computer. Well done, the scanner is working again. The scanning computer displays which of the neighboring sectors have already been scanned. Now we'll have to wait until the scanner detects the missing comms void. You can now click the arrow buttons below the clock in the top left of the screen to accelerate time, or you can continue exploring the ship. Well, shall we have a look? Let's have a look around the ship, shall we? While we were. Uh, so we uh, went down into the react into the uh, hyperdrive room. So let's have a look in the reactor room. Okay. So what we've got here, circuit breaker, hull integrity, hyperdrive room, air vent, fuel box, reactor door, power diagnostic terminal, atmospheric gauge, seal regulator, and something, ship temperature, okay. So, let's go to viewing room 2. So, literally viewing room 2, pretty much the same thing all the way around. But having said that, though, each one of these sort of radiation detector, targets, shields, primary console, locker. Now it's in there. Okay. Let's go to the. Ah. Here. In there. Back into view room one. Okay, so slightly different each time. Ah. A certificate, uh, a rag, duct tape, radiation pills, thermal sensor, and cable repair kit. So, at least we know that that's in there now. And coffee cup. <laughs> that would be in room three. Nothing in there. So, we've got nothing in those areas. So, we've already checked the the locker, which is nothing in there. There's more stuff in the toolbox. Space fence, fire extinguisher, replacement pipe. I suspect we're going to need that at some point. Another universal controller board and screwdriver. So what's the notepad to say? Okay. Nothing. That's where the replacement pipe's probably going to be needed. Fuel box, got fuel rods, good. Full integrity monitor, 100%, circuit breaker. Okay, got all those circuit breakers going. So now we're uh, pretty much in the right way. Let's. Uh, Increase some speed, shall we? Hmm. 
I was in for those microphones. Okay, okay, I see. So we can take photographs, obviously take sound, so forth. That button does. So I want to use it. And so that, back, back. Uh, viewing rooms. Can't be here. I suppose we can go to the scanning room computer. Ah, one of these sectors looks promising. Click on it to find out if it contains a missing comms. Right. Uh, let's try. Detected species. There it is. Okay, so now we've got to go to the hyperdrive room. You can use the power allocation power to add more power to the hyperdrive so it charges faster. Okay. This is where you set the destination coordinates for the hyperdrive. Oh, it's a bit awkward having to drop down and I suppose really you probably end up having a crew doing this, but because you're a, a criminal, part of the punishment is to make you very good, the hyperdrive's already charged, so we're ready to go to activate the hyperdrive button. Okay. Here we are, we're in the right sector, but we can't see the boy yet. Let's have a look at the radar. Okay, so... Which one's this one? Hyperdrive, targeting... Oh, we don't need to scan as hard anymore, do we? Radar. Target. Local radar. Radar is divided into five zones which correspond to the five, five viewing rooms. There's an object on the radar in zone five. So let's go viewing room five and see. Okay. So that's dependent on the, the rooms. That's quite cool. So viewing room five. There she blows. We found it. Now let's check the mission objectives. Our task is to destroy this boy. Let's have a look at the targeting system. The targeting system can operate in three different modes laser, photo camera, and microphone. Use a switch in the upper corner viewing to a target mode by laser. Good. Now check the power allocation panel once again. Both lasers 5 and the targeting systems need power. Adding more power to the target systems makes targeting easier. Adding power to the laser causes more damage. And being set up, click on the joystick to shoot the chip boy. Okay, so targeting. Let's. Uh, That laser charge five. Okay, uh, check the joystick. Primary mission objective complete. Hooray. Suggest returning to base. Well done, you've successfully completed this. Unless, yes. We're not alone here. I sense external biological threats. You should prepare to defend the ship, or get us out of here. Find what you've learnt, check the radar, and use the laser to defend yourself, or use the hyperdrive to get home quickly. Right, let's have a look at the local radar, it's in room 3. Okay, so I need to take 5 down. Put 3 there, oh hello. Eventually you'll have to refuel the reactor so you don't run out of battery power, you'll find detailed instructions in the manual. Get fuel from the fuel box, open the reactor door, insert fuel, 
close the reactor door. That she will slowly refuel over time. Okay. So I need to refuel. So let's go down to the reactor room. Open the fuel box. Open the reactor door. You run out of power, you can recharge. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing now. Don't be worried. Now what I need to do is I need to go to the hyperdrive room. Is that right? After I've set to home coordinates. Ah. So I need to go up and so let's just go to view room one. Let's hmm. So hyperdrive charging should uh, increase. So this is going to be a game by the looks of it that's very much juggling a lot of things. So let's uh, speed up. I've set to home coordinates, so yeah, so I shouldn't really have too much of an issue. I'll just wait for the cooldown by the looks of it. That was a close one, but you're alive and that's what counts. There's so much more to discover and you manage the key to it all. You can learn more about your ship from the relative safety of yourself. Okay. I've increased the stock price apparently. Uh, So, Ursa, are we going to talk about the giant space monsters? It is prudent to remind you at this time that all involuntary employees are bound by an indefinite non-disclosure agreement for the duration of their sentence. <laughs> what happens after their sentence is up? Unknown. That has never occurred. So, space monsters. Your onboard manual has now been updated to include a bestiary that includes any space-borne fauna that you have discovered, and those already cataloged by other Astra cartographers. Astra encourages you to experiment with your approaches to these creatures and report your findings. Some creatures are resistant to certain laser configurations, while others are vulnerable. Great, nice. so how many more times do we have to do this? Astra Interstellar Solutions discourages artificial intelligence units from disclosing the remaining time in a pilot sentence. Perhaps you would like me to play you a cheerful song? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever programmed your script is the worst. Of course not. I am not an interactive script. I think that's going to be a running joke for the rest of the, uh, the part, isn't it? So I think I've just gone to bed. You can stay for a few hours and dream of talking bears. <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, I think that's probably going to be it for us. Uh, just gone through the tutorial. Just get a good idea of how the game works. So if that's what you like, then obviously uh, pop it down. It's on Steam. Um, I, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. I, th I think it's, it might get a little bit more awkward towards uh, <laughs> towards the extra parts. But uh, yeah, it's been been good fun. Okay, um, so if you like this video, uh, press the like button. Uh, if you dislike it, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comments section to let me at least know what I'm doing wrong, because this is always for you. Uh, if you want to subscribe, also do that. And also, if you want to donate a little bit of money, there's also my Patreon, uh, which is uh, around somewhere. Okay, folks, thanks very much for your time.
and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.